Hi everyone, Renee here, and I am here with my August favorites. So Peach and Lily sprung a second installment of new products to their already amazing collection. Alicia is just killing it with her products. They are so good. They're so well thought out and they're just so well tested and tried. You can tell immediately. These pads are intensely hydrating, soothing, comforting, and they really are an all-in-one product. At first I was like, yeah, well, all in one for maybe some people, but probably not for me. The last few weeks, I've had so many family and friends in town. It's been really kind of nuts. Many, many late nights. I would cleanse my face, swipe this, go to sleep, wake up in the morning with incredibly soft, supple skin. This is so intensely hydrating. It does in a few swipes, the same as what I feel um, a sheet mask does for your skin. This contains ceramides, hyaluronic acid, vitamin B5. It has soy ferment, a whole salad of superfood extracts, pomegranate. Um, it just simplifies my routine so much. Um, many times in the morning, I will use my vitamin C serum, let that sink in, use the swipe, and then put my moisturizer and sunscreen. I'm done. The other day I was chatting with a friend of mine. We were talking about how we wish this came in blanket size. Um, next thing I want to talk about, I've been using this for a good few months now, is this glorious eye cream from Pestle and Mortar. It's called Recover. This is very special. Since I fell in love with their superstar retinol oil, I've just slowly been trying out all their other products. And I have to say, Pestle Mortar is one of the few truly, truly clean brands out there. Not everything that is labeled clean necessarily is. They're cruelty-free. Their products are also vegan, and they've banned over 3,000 potentially harmful ingredients from all their formulations. And they're not being tricky and sort of hiding bad ingredients either. They truly are no compromise. I mean, like this eye cream is so luxurious. It's so elegant in texture. It's so beautiful. It's one of the most beautiful eye creams I've ever used. And there are no silicones in this at all. There are not many eye creams out there that don't include silicones that I've tried, and I've tried quite a few of them, that can have such a glorious texture, let alone one that is better than most other eye creams out there that do contain silicones, luxury ones as well. This is creamy in the most silky, silky way. In fact, it's like a gel cream. It's just really hydrating. Your skin just looks so nice and moisturized around this area. This sits so beautifully under makeup. This has zero scent to it. There's no essential oils. It's fabulous for anyone with really sensitive eyes. Despite the light texture, it is still pretty hardcore. This will really moisturize the skin around your eyes. It has avocado oil in it, squalane, um, antioxidants and peptides. It's a wonderful youth preservation eye cream, but also fantastic for maturing skin as well. This does contain a bit of shea butter, but it really hasn't um, created any milia for me or made any worse. I'm very prone to it, so this hasn't exacerbated the situation. In fact, um, a few of, uh, one that I did have over here has disappeared um, while I was using this. Pharmacy's Honeymoon Glow, such a pleasant surprise. I actually received this quite a while ago, and pretty much from first application, it made a difference, and I was just in love. So I personally feel like this is everything that I wish Sunday Riley's good jeans was for me. Every time I used it, it just felt sort of irritating and it's just something I felt I needed to bear. This, when I apply it, doesn't give me any irritation. In fact, it feels so beautiful on the skin. It's like this beautifully light, um, hydrating emulsion. But also, I do wake up with that glassy, smooth, plumped out hydrated skin. Some of my friends have told me that when they first started using this, they did feel some tingling. Um, I didn't have any of that, which is really unusual with an acid product, which just kind of goes to show that this really is like a very suitable product for me. And that's rare. It has a 10% AHA blend, which is mainly lactic, and it also has glycolic and some fruit acids in there as well. The 1% BHA is actually from willow bark extract, um, which is a natural form and much gentler form of salicylic acid. And 3% hibiscus flower extract, which is a natural form of, I would say, an AHA because it acts more like an AHA. It's really great for cell turnover and can even help with pigmentation. This serum has some of my favorite ingredients in here, which is really no wonder that my skin reacts to it so well. One of them being the Green Envy Honey that is in so many of their products, um, but also turmeric, ginger, some beautiful plant oils, but also their signature antioxidant complex. 
To me, this really is multifunctional products done right. You know, not only is it a resurfacer, is it an acid, but it also is an essence and a serum. So, so one of the most beautiful combinations of products that I've been using together in um, the last few weeks is the Honeymoon Glow with the sleeping mask from Belief, their Aqua Bomb sleeping mask. I actually prefer this sleeping mask to the Aqua Bomb moisturizer. This is really, really lovely. Well, first of all, there's a lot of skin entertainment here. The texture of this is just perfection. This is a jelly pudding sleeping mask. This is glorious to apply. It's like putting memory foam on your face. This is very unique and intensely satisfying to apply. Very, very comforting. It just sort of glides all over your skin and just kind of stays there. It's very hydrating and it just keeps your skin super hydrating. But at the same time, it's not invasive. It's not like really sticky or invasive, or at least not for me at all. I mean, definitely your skin feels kind of, um, you know, moist for lack of a better word. It's like a sponge that has been soaked with water. I'm also someone who sleeps on my face. It's not something I can actually control. It just happens. But despite that, in the morning, it doesn't transfer because my skin is so ridiculously hydrated and fat. This is full of their signature apothecary and herbs. It's got vitamin E, turmeric, oats in it as well, and it has um, their signature sort of herbal scent. I've actually many nights have just been using this in lieu of moisturizer, um, but when I started using these together, it was just next level. I would wake up with the dewiest, glossiest skin. A new face cleanser that I've been using almost obsessively is this one from Dr. Sam Bunting. Dr. Sam's Flawless Cleanser. Dr. Sam is a London-based dermatologist who's just one of my favorite people to watch on YouTube. I'm the first person in the US to receive this cleanser. I was waiting by my mailbox. I'm not being braggy, I just feel really honored, especially because this is so good. You can use this as your only cleanser, but for me, I prefer double cleansing, so this is my second step cleanser. It falls right in line with the type of cleansers that I've been loving particularly this year. Last winter was particularly brutal on my skin, and that's when I made the switch to cream cleansers. My skin loves it so much, so I just continued using that as sort of the second step cleanser. So what I love about this is it's a gel cleanser that works the same way that a cream cleanser does. It's as gentle and effective as a cream cleanser or an oil cleanser, but if you're someone who is just really um, acne prone or you have acneic skin and or you're just easily congested, your skin is just easily clogged and congested and you don't want to use like creams or oils or any of those sort of like heavy ingredients, then this is perfection. This will give you the most gentle and thorough cleansing that will not strip your skin barrier or weaken it in any way. You won't need to use other products to replenish your skin afterwards. You'll be fine. This is a beautifully thick, thick, comforting gel that feels gorgeous when you apply it on your face. There are no oils in this. This rinses off completely clean through an emulsifier. And what I love about this, the same way that I like about cream cleansers, is that you can use it over your eyes as well and just remove any remnants of like eye makeup that might be there. You can tell this cleanser is from a dermatologist. It's just so simple but effective. There's only 13 ingredients in here, including elantoin, aloe vera, and vitamin E. Otherwise, there are no other kind of fancy extracts or oils in here, none whatsoever. There's no scent. Um, it's it's gloriously skin entertaining to use this. You can massage it on your skin for a long time. In fact, that's what you want to do because it feels so nice and comforting. A new brand that I am so far absolutely loving is this one from Australia called Go To. I love how cheeky and just Australian this brand is and their products, the names. It's just it's just so much fun. And this was founded by um, beauty editor Zoe Foster Blake. She wanted to bring joy back into skincare without things just being, you know, overly complicated and serious. I am all for that. I think sometimes skincare just gets too serious. Every product in the line, just like their names, direct no nonsense, and again, really aligns with the kind of skincare that I love. There's a lot of plant extracts in here. It's cruelty-free. It's go-to face hero. So of course, this is going to be the first thing I try because I love oil serums. They are something that my skin just undoubtedly love. 
I would say this is more suitable for anyone from normal to dry skin, or if this can last me that long, this will really come in handy and be perfect through the drier, colder months that, that are coming. There's something about the texture of this, which is the kind of texture I love in the oil serums that I've been using. It's almost a little um, emulsive, but it's so easy to spread and apply on your skin. A lot of oil serums, the way they are, either I have to make sure my skin is really doused with toner um, before I apply it. Sometimes I have to mix it with toner, but it's always something I have to pat in my skin. Otherwise, it will sort of drag and pull. This has this beautiful, very, very spreadable texture that just allows me to smooth this over my face. It sits in a base of almond oil, jojoba, macadamia nut, Brazil nut, and bariti oil. I love the fact that they've got kiwi oil in here. Kiwi is one of the most um, antioxidant-rich fruits around. It's got a tremendous amount of vitamin C in it, so it's kind of um, nice to have in here. There's rosehip oil, vitamin E, but also it just has the most beautiful scent from um, rose gardenia and orange blossom. It's, it's beautiful. Go-to's lips, lip balm. You know I love my lip balms. This one is seriously legit. So this obviously meets all my basic requirements of a lip balm, which is it's not sticky or gloopy and it won't sort of trap anything that's flying by in the wind. This stays on the lips. It's so comforting and soothing and it lasts. I can drink things and eat things delicately and it will stay. And I'm also not interested in anything that's mainly made of um, petroleum because I definitely, we've spoken about this before, it just does nothing for my lips. It's just something that I need to keep on reapplying, but it doesn't actually heal or treat my very, very chapped lips. I just fall into this um, cycle of just addictively reapplying all the time. This is seriously legit. It treats, it nourishes, it heals your lips. This is made of medical grade lanolin. There's also beeswax, shea butter, a lot of the rich oils that are also present in Face Hero. Um, this also has avocado oil, calendula to soothe, vitamin E, and pomegranate. This also has this really delicious scent. It smells like popsicles or like candy, but that's also naturally derived from plants. A hair product that I've been absolutely obsessed with is this one from Christoph Robin. It's the cleansing volumizing paste with pure rasool clay and rose extracts. This will clean your scalp so well that your hair will feel so fluffy and light and feel lifted and bouncy and airy. I love it so much. I'm actually alternating it with the cleansing salt scrub because, you know, I'm extra like that. This is definitely a treatment cleanser because it will really clean your scalp without being like one of those very damaging acid um, clarifying shampoos. You know, it won't actually dry out your hair as well. In fact, it will nourish it. It's also safe for color treated hair. Um, it will make it just beautiful and shiny and glorious, but then your scalp will be so balanced and so clean and so all the impurities are just so pulled out of it so that you don't even have to wash your hair for a week. This looks and smells like something I would happily put on my face or the rest of my body. Um, there's definitely separation here from the clay and the rich beautiful oils and extracts. Be really cautious when using this. You really only need a little bit. A little goes a long way. The first time I used it, I just used so much. It was just way too much. But my head just never been treated so well. Um, this and the salt scrub are the only two products, I think, in the entire Christoph Robin line that actually does contain some sulfates. And I think the reason for that is because it really focuses on a deep clean. But unlike other shampoos that I've used that do have sulfates in this, this does not make my scalp I'm balanced, oily or anything. It does the opposite. It really sort of treats my scalp and it feels more balanced than ever. In fact, it just doesn't really get heavy or bogged down or congested as fast as it usually does. So another reason why a lot of times we just have to look at the effectiveness of a formula as a whole rather than just singling out certain ingredients and then just sort of labeling it um, as good or bad. That's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and until next time I'm wishing you great skin health. Bye!